Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Manufactoria 2022. Now this is actually a remake of a classic Flash game with the same name. And when the dev sent me a key, I went onto the Steam page and I read the description about this game. A really smart engineer can build robots that do just about everything. Are there any problems that more robots can't solve? You'll find out. Well, the fact they called me a really smart engineer, that's definitely what they meant that, means we've definitely got to check out this game. So let's get into it. So this is the level select page. Looks like a typical engineer's desk. I've got a cactus as well, although my mug is an architect is mug available in my merch store now. But let's go and make some nothing bots. So simple start, we just got to produce the robot, move it from the start to the exit. So we've got conveyor belts, we can just move them about. So one there, one there, and one there. Press run, job is a good one because that's going to fall into the hole. So we've completed that, we're on to stamp bots. So we've got to program the robot by stamping red, blue, blue. I feel like he answered Morpheus really greedily there. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And then produce it to the exit. Okay, so, so if we press R or click this, we have the stamper, which stamps it onto the robot's tape. So I guess we wang that there. And then we press 2 or click this to change it to a blue one. And then that goes there, that goes there. And then that should be right. Let's press run. So it goes in there, get stamped, get stamped, get stamped. Nice. I don't know if you saw down the bottom there, that's that's the order of the stamps we had to do, and that's what we've done. Nice. Onward. So we've unlocked a choice of two levels. Flautistry or a maze bot. I feel like I'm an amaze bot, so let's go into this. Oh god, this looks complicated already. Looking for more complex challenges. Yeah, apparently I am. Okay, so this time we get to select the start and the exit, uh, and these are already in place, so I guess we can't really move those. So we've got the order we need. We need blue, red, red, blue, red. So I'm guessing if we click this and then start there so that will go blue then we put a corner in then we put a straight and we go along there up there oh no then that's in the way oh no how do we do this right what if we start there i mean we've got to start in front of a blue right so i think if we start there then go left and then go down no we've got to start there i think i think that makes sense now because then we can go down that way down that way up there and then there and then there yeah that's that's the way to do it that was quite tricky actually so if we run that that goes boosh boosh down there, boosh, all the way around this corner. And then we get the last two stamps. And then it's into the hole. You can see it on the bottom. We've done it right. We've got a success. That was actually a bit trickier than I thought for some reason. Anyway, let's go on to factory reset. So on this, I got to remove all the commands from the tape. I don't know what that means. So if I shove that there and then... What do they... What do these do? <laughs> I guess as there's three. Do I just do three of them and then the end? I don't... I don't know what I've just done. Let's see what happens. So that go Oh, what the hell? Dumped a robot on the floor. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. So basically, if you look at this down here, I think whatever's in the first thing, that means it will come out that that side, if that makes sense. So it's going to come out that way. So I'll tell you what, I can just I just shove another one of these down. So if I shove that there with a the blue, that will go left. And then that will go right. So then I can just do the exit there. Does that work? So it's basically the order down here, red, blue, red. So as it goes through these, it will go red, so it'll go up. Then it'll go blue, so it'll go left. And then it will go red, it'll go up. So that should work. Let's let's press run and see if I'm talking bollocks or not. Oh, oh, oh yes. Okay, I understand. I understand the game. Uh, then we've unlocked one called Lullabot. And that's a blue chip. I'm guessing it's green chip like the, the noob one. I better do floor history first. So on this one, we've got to stamp the robots again. So we've got to do red, which is going to do. And then we've got to get it to a blue. So straight ahead. And then it's going to come out to the right and we want it to get a red. So we probably want that to go straight ahead. But look, we've been given new parts, a, a straight through line. So I'm guessing if I shove one of those there, then it'll get to that easily. Then we've got the normal conveyor going that way. Then it'll go back through that. I think shove another one there. And then finally a conveyor in the top right pointing down. And then no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work because when it comes through there, it will end up back on that one. So I think I've got to get rid of that and replace with a straight through like that. So we'll run that. That will get a stamp that goes through there. <laughs> I like that the pipes have like mist coming out. So final stamp through the straights. It's in the hole. We've done all the stamps. There's a picture of a weird Pinocchio robot thing. Jobs are good and let's go onward. So time to do the lullabot. Right, so on this one, you can see our robot. It's going to be stamped with all reds and we've got to change it to all blues. So if we spawn our robot there to start with, then we want... Oh God, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do this? 17? I'm not sure what actually happens if I like, if I do a few of them. Do they like replace what's there or... So it just adds them. I wonder if I just need to 
do like 17 afterward. I don't... Have I been taught how to replace? Right, I'll tell you what I could do. This... Is this going to work or is this cheeky? So I'm thinking if I wang that there, then it will get a blue stamp. And then I can I can literally just make it go into one of these. So if I like face that that way, so then surely it gets the blue stamp and it goes there. And then because it's got a red, it goes back and gets another stamp. So it should just go loads of times. And then I just need to put an exit down and I'm guessing they'll be blue so I go there. So basically this won't let the robot pass through unless it's all blue. Oh yeah look these scanners they do remove the stamp. Okay so that's exactly what I want to do. Cool let's run this. So it gets the stamp, goes in there and gets the red removed. Decent. So now I just sit back, relax. Right, anyway now it's all blue. It goes through there, through the hole. We've done it. Oh that was, that actually made me think a little bit. But we got that. So oh look we got loads of little trophy things. We got, we did it in 37 moves. We used two pieces and we we fit it into four squares. Decent. Right, so now we've unlocked the robot factory. So let's go see what this is like. So there is a little story thing going on. Basically, you're making robots, surprisingly. So the first level on this is called failures. Oh, wow, look, we've been given like vampire teeth where rejected robots go. It's called a junker. So if we wang that down in the middle, I think that's where it starts. And then we want to... Oh, so it says up here in input, the robots are programmed with red, blue or nothing. So if we grab one of these, then I think at the bottom we need to accept the red ones reject everything else so we put the exit on top so the reds go into the exit and then this is where the rejected ones go just like that is that right so let's run that so that got processed that way that got rejected that got rejected oh we rejected a perfectly good robot oh matt read the instructions mate read the freaking instructions man junk robots that enter the assembly line with an empty tape toss them into the fire except the rest you not bad matt you not bad so we don't want the blue to be a fire we want the blue to be an exit okay i think that's done oh sort of the strongest shape as well if you just if you just get rid of the flames <laughs> anyway is this better so accepted Rejected, accepted, success. Let's go onward. Oh, look, we got all the trophy things as well. Nice. Now we're on candidate picker. Accept robots that enter with two blues at the start of the tape. Okay, I can do that. So we do an entrance. We do that thing. And then we rotate that that way. That thing. We want that to go to there because that means they'll have two blues at the start. Everything else gets destroyed. So like that, right? Let's run that. So... It does a load of stuff. I assume it's like, oh my god, look how many we're processing. It worked, right? <laughs> that was so many robots. I couldn't even see what was going on. Thankfully, I did it right. Oh, no, look, I missed a trophy, though. You haven't got a medal for the area that your assembly line fit in. But I need nine or less. I got 12. Okay, let's go back in. Oh, it does a square area. Can you see that's 12? Three by four? Okay, so basically, I've just got to scooch things around a little bit. Okay, so what I'm thinking, if I delete that... And then basically just rotate that one. So rather than facing up, it faces down. But then can you see the red is pointing right? That needs to be two blues, remember. So we need to swap that with the other piece. So basically that. And that should do the same job. Because basically before where the one with no stamps went straight ahead, that will just go backwards and then over to that way. So yeah, if we run that, that should work fine. Fine, he says. Success. Yes, we got one of those now. Decent. Okay, so now we're going to do tests on demand. Using the test mode, produce red, blue, red on its tape. Uh, what? So press test. It wants me to press test. Oh god, what is this? So I want red, blue, red. So red, blue, red. Okay, I think that worked. <laughs> Okay, that was random. I assume that was just teaching me that I can, I can, I can tell it what to put at the start. So if we go do this advanced testing level, right. Ah, oh, so this game, oh man, this game is quite cool actually. So this level is already set up. I've got to sort of work out what it's going to do and therefore put the right thing on the, on the robot to start with. So we get the red, blue, blue, red. Okay, so if it were red at the start, then it goes into the fire. So it has to be blue to start so that means it ends up on this one where it gets a stamp so if we want it to get a red stamp it already has to have the red and the two blues so it's just waiting for a red so it's going to start here it's going to go into this thing it's going to go that way because it's got a blue and that removes the blue from this so that blue will be gone and then when it goes into this piece it gets the red stamp which is what it needs so yeah let's run the test boosh boosh 
Nice, exactly as expected. High five this little person. Boosh. And now we've got a very punny name, Crate Expectations. Except robots that enter with at least one red and one blue junk the rest. So I guess that's what I gotta that's what I gotta do first, right? So we put one of those down. If it goes straight ahead, it gets deathed, because that means it hasn't got one red or blue. And then if we shove one that way and one that way, then we need junkers at the end, because that means they've only got one red or one blue. And then because it's at least all the others I need to deal with. So do I just accept all of them like that? Is that is that good? I'm confused by the test now. Oh, the test is literally just a test. So you can run a custom robot through your assembly line. Okay, so I don't need to test it. I can just I can just run. Oh no, I accepted a robot that should have been tossed into the fight. Oh, poo. Yes, I just realized. I just realized because because this top left one, that's accepting ones with two reds and no blues. Actually, I feel like even if I fire that one, that's going to be wrong. Because if I were to do that, then we're still... There's still a chance. Let's run a test. This is why I want the test. So say... Say it was red, red, blue. But you can see in the goal, that should be fine. If I run that test, that will get rejected. Rejected a perfectly good robot. Yeah, okay, so that didn't work. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think about this one. Alright, what if I were to do like an infinity loop sort of thing? Because I think won't this just remove all the stamps? And then any with no stamps get flamed. So does that work? If I test that, okay. So no, that doesn't work. Because the robot, as long as it's got the stamps at the start, that means it's fine. It's not, it's not once you've done all your sorting and stuff. Okay, I understand that now. All right, I feel like the looping, the looping was the right thing to do though what if we were to loop up there i'm thinking if i loop back around and then in in there do that and i think we have fire at the end and then an exit there so basically anything that comes in here if it's if it's red it goes up this way and then if it's got a blue it gets accepted that's right if it's got nothing else it goes into there that's right and then if it's got another red it comes back around it goes through the same process so now if it's if it's got a blue it goes that way if it's got nothing it means there wasn't ever a blue so it gets killed otherwise it keeps going around yeah it just keeps looping until we find a blue and that means it gets accepted nice okay so i want to flame i definitely want to flame there because that's if it's got nothing and i just need to mirror this downwards so this time if it's blue it comes that way if it's red it goes into there if it's still blue it keeps looping around until we find a red otherwise it gets destroyed. Oh, I think I've finally done it. So let's run and see if it works. Yes, it's looking good. Look how many we processed. Oh, no, we only got one stamp, though. What are the other ones? The area has to be nine. Ours is 21. And we have to do it in 16 moves, not 52. Oh, God. What if we looped around like that? Yeah, let me start in the middle, actually. So sorter. So then we loop back so that we could do that. Does that work? Oh, actually, I'll just test it. I'll just test. I don't know why I'm trying to do it in my head. I can literally just put in whatever. So if it's got two reds and a blue, what happens? So it goes that way. It gets put back and then it goes that way. Sorted. Oh, what if it just had loads of blues and then a red? Would that work? So this should just go back and forth until it detects the red. Yes, I think I've done it. So all the blues have gone. Red goes straight ahead. It goes into there. Nice. And then before I get ahead of myself, let's just do a failure. So if it has three blues, for example, what happens? It goes back and forth there a few times and it doesn't have a red. So it goes that way, that way. Oh, well done, Matt. I actually did that. All right, so let's run this and see. It works. It works. <laughs> so do I get all the trophies? Oh, I didn't do it. It's got to be a nine, not 12. Balls. Okay, so it's got to be a nine. It's got to be three by three. So it's got to be like that layout. Aha, I think I've got it. I think I've actually got it now. So let's test three blues. So I'm thinking this should do the same. Oh, wait, no. Idiot. Those corners, they need to be acceptors. There we go. So three blues. This should be a fail. So it should go... Wait, that's not right. That's not right. Because if that was three blues and a red, that still gets chopped. Oh, poo. <laughs> right, so this one, if it's got a red, it will keep going that way until it's got a blue on it. Then it will go this way, otherwise it gets binned. So that's good. If we want to keep this small, we then want to go upwards. And then we can just do like another one of them, but with the blue test. So then that will get rid of all the blues. Oh no, but then they get binned. They don't want to get binned. Wait, no, isn't that just isn't that just a pass? No, because if it's got blue, it just goes straight over there. We don't want it to go over there. Okay, we've got to do, we've got to do the blue test somewhere. Right, so in this layout, this one... That 
that'll get rid of all the reds. And if there's no blues, it gets burnt. That's fine. And then blues will go that way. And then I'm thinking if I do a test there, I can put that on the edge because we know all the reds, they've already gone. Unless there's a blue after the red. Maybe do I need to do a cross roller piece? So red, then blue goes into the hole. Otherwise, it goes this way. And once it's gone through there, if it's got a red, it well, it can't have a red. So it can't ever go that way, right? And then if it's got a blue, it goes back and goes that way. But if it has nothing, it goes round there. Oh, because this just accepts all the bloody blues. Oh. Well, I don't know. My brain isn't set up to... <laughs> That's hard. That's really hard. I, I'm still pretty proud I got it into an area 12. Actually, it says 9 or less. Oh, is that where I've been going wrong? I'm an idiot. I was trying to get it into 9. I could get it into 8 easily. Oh, don't tell me I could. I've literally spent hours on this. Oh, it's okay. I still failed. I still failed. I could get it into 8 easily. So if it's got one blue, it's going into there, which I don't want to do. So we'll delete that. I could get it into 8 easily. Okay, it's been like... <laughs> it's been like hours. Could, could this be it? Let's do a test. Oh, okay. So two blues and then a red. So a blue goes that way. And then if it's a red, it goes there. Sorted. What if we did two reds and a blue? So what does that do? So red goes that way. And then the red gets tested. And then it goes into there. Okay, that's working. What if it was just three reds, for example? So there's no blues. So this wants to be a fail. It's so a red, red. Then it goes that way to the middle. Oh my goodness. I might have done it. I might have done it if it was just nothing. What if we run that test? Nothing just goes straight ahead. Oh, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Right, let's run this. Please, please. Oh, I can't believe it was that simple. I can't believe it was that simple. How long have I been recording? An hour and a half. <laughs> oh, you, you shitting me. I didn't even get three trophies. You haven't gotten the medal for the longest time. So I got it in the area, but it takes too long. It should be able to do it all in 16 moves, not 28. Well, let's see. Is this actually really hard or am I just being an idiot? So if we click the global stats button. Oh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. <laughs> so 46 of the players had an area of 10 or less, including you. So half the people that have played this are as intelligent as I am, taking nearly an hour to do this level. Okay, good to know. <laughs> nearly everyone used three scanners and stampers. Yep, cool. And then this is the big boy. 41% of people did this properly. I need to know how. Hang on, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as simple as that. That does something different, right? Surely. Yeah, that fails. Okay, good good. Well, anyway, all I've learned is programmers are very, very smart, and I am not. So, I will say peace, love, and I have a headache. Bye, guys!